This is the Burroughs Portable. It's an adding listing machine made by the Burroughs Adding Machine Company. And it is a replacement model for their earliest adding listing machines. As the name says, it's portable, at least compared to those earlier machines. But it's uh, still quite heavy and relatively large. And uh, yeah, it's just a straightforward adding machine. And you have a sort of a typewriter like carriage at the top. You can put in a piece of paper sideways. And uh, yeah, if you enter a number and pull the lever. The number gets printed and added to the register inside. If I now add another number, it also gets printed. To see what the current total is, you press this button, the S total, the subtotal button, and pull the lever, and it prints the current total with an S behind it. It shows you that this is a subtotal. The number is still in there, so I can add another number. And now I can press, say, the, the total button, and it'll print the total with an asterisk at the end to show that this is the final total. And the internal register has now been reset to zero. You can also uh, use this uh, NA button, which is non-add, if you use that. It prints a number, but that doesn't get added to the register. So uh, if I add another number and print the total, it's just that number that I uh, added just now. This machine was first introduced in around 1926, or the end of 1925, and it was very popular. There were many variations, and that was possible, possible because it was constructed in a, veg in a very modular way. This whole uh, paper feeding mechanism that's uh, connected to the machine just by four screws and uh, if I shift it to the side you can see two of the screws here, there and there. If you undo those and the same screws on the other side here then uh, yeah, the whole thing comes off. The, uh, this carriage by the way, it, uh, it clicks into place into uh, uh, positions that you can set yourself. This, uh, this bar at the, up, at the back, it has these not, uh, notches and on there you can put these, uh, yeah, these clips to, to, yeah, to the, at the spot where you want the, uh, the carriage to stick. This little lever, it uh, sets the uh, line spacing. It's either double, single or none at all. Oh, it's the other way around. That's none at all and this is double. And uh, yeah, as I showed, this one allows you to shift to the next uh, spot. And the lever on this side is if you want to adjust the paper uh, a bit uh, more uh, accurately than just these, these the clicks here. Because if you push this or pull this, the uh, uh, yeah this this rubber roller gets lifted off the paper, so you can shift it a bit. Um, yeah, the uh, ink ribbon is inside here. It's easy to uh, to remove and replace. It's very straightforward. 
and uh, yeah, that's about it really. The uh, as I said, it's very modular, so you have uh, versions with just uh, a single roller here. This uh, typewriter version also has a, a roll that you can use at the back instead of uh, straight paper but there's a, a simpler version that just has a roll right here and uh, yeah the, uh, there are various different uh, keyboards this one has ten columns but there's eight columns or six columns as well uh, cheaper versions and that's it uh, this model was uh, uh, in production for many years uh, sort of descendants of this model were the Series P and those were, those were made in the 50s and 60s as well of course those were all uh, run on electricity they had an electric motor instead of a big handle but other than that they're essentially the same machines so this was the uh, Burroughs Portable. Thank you for watching.